A new study exploring COVID-19 infection hotspots in Canadian cities is highlighting the fact that racialized communities in Canada are experiencing much higher rates of infection. The study looked at infection rates in 16 urban centres, including Vancouver, Hamilton, Quebec City and Winnipeg. Researchers observed concentrations of cases according to social determinants of health, such as income, education level and visible minority status. The pandemic has not treated everybody equally and we need to recognise that and we need to adapt our response to the pandemic to those who have suffered the most. Dr. Alan Katz, an author of the study and director of the Manitoba Centre for Health Policy, says that visible minority status was the social determinant of health that was consistent across all COVID-19 hotspots. Other factors included working in essential services and access to housing. Dr. Katz notes that Winnipeg did not have as high a concentration of COVID-19 hotspots compared with Toronto and Vancouver due to the differences in urban environments. So in Winnipeg, we don't have a particular high density area with huge high rises, you know, 25 story high rises with multiple families living in apartments and things like that. We just don't have that, that, that density of housing, whereas clearly uh, cities like Toronto and Vancouver do. Dr. Katz says this study is consistent with other studies in Canada, Sweden and the United States, providing evidence that COVID hotspots are largely defined by occupation, income, housing and proxies for structural racism. None of which are simple to fix. These are societal issues. COVID has made it very apparent that there are hidden pockets of poverty that have become more absurd lately. Desiree McIver with Make Poverty History Manitoba is working with the city on the first ever reduced poverty strategy for 2021 to 2031. McIver says poverty is strongly linked to social determinants of health, including worse outcomes from COVID-19. She was pleased the Executive Policy Committee voted in favour of the poverty reduction strategy, but worries a decade may be too long to wait for change needed now, adding that the political landscape could also change in that time. Because of the fact that like we do elections every four years, so one government can be in favor of it and then another would be like, you know, be elected or elected in the future and then we're right back at square one again. Dr. Katz says the Indigenous community here in Manitoba have disproportionately faced the worst impacts of COVID-19. He suggests regional initiatives like targeted vaccine rollouts and mobile outreach have been effective at reaching community members at higher risk of COVID-19 outbreaks. A lesson learned to continue managing this pandemic and any future health crisis that may come our way. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.